This past Christmas, I spent part of the holidays out in my garage working on an old motorcycle. I would bought a 1979 Suzuki from a guy. The bike wasn't running, so uh, he wanted a hundred bucks for it. So I gave him a hundred dollars and I took it home and shoved it in the corner. And five years later, this past Christmas, I decided I'd try to get it running. So I took it all apart. I cleaned the carburetors, put them back on, did everything I could and hit the starter button and vroom, it ran right away. And I was really excited about it. Over the next couple of months, I went out and I kept starting the bike and it started well and I kept waiting for the nice warm days to come. And so the very first warm day, I plated the bike and I decided to take it for a ride. Put on all my gear, my helmet and my coat and my riding pants and my boots and everything and I rode out round our block and I got about two or three blocks from home when... It just quit couldn't get it to start again. I tried and tried and tried and ended up I had to push the thing home and as I said it was a warm day and I had all my riding gear on and by the time I got home I was sweating and hot and it was just miserable. And here's what I realized. A motorcycle that starts but doesn't get you home isn't a very good motorcycle. Finishing is important. Finishing well is important, not just when you're riding a motorcycle, but in everything. I see lots of people who start things well. I don't necessarily see a lot of people who finish things well. But our goal ought to be to finish well. Our goal ought to be to get to the end running hard and trying our best and still doing well. Anyone can start something, but finishing is the important part. In the book of Hebrews, in chapter 11, the Hebrew writer has named a whole bunch of people who did really well, heroes of the faith, people who finished their lives still believing in God and doing what they were asked to do. And then chapter 12 starts this way. In part, it says, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out before us. Again, the key isn't starting. The key is to run with perseverance the race that is marked out for us. He says you can do this if you focus your eyes on Christ. And if you remember the goal of getting home to be with him. If we do that, he says, you will not grow weary or lose heart. I'm discouraged sometimes when I see people who have started in the Christian faith and then have fallen off because they get disillusioned or, or they think it should have been easier or that they should never have had any problems or something like that. Uh, one author I read last week said this, he said, The promise was never that it would always get better. The promise was is that God is with us and that he can sustain us even if things get worse. We aren't promised an easy path, but we are promised that God will be with us through it. We are not promised that it'll just be a walk in the park. We're told to run hard and keep running with endurance because the key is to finish well. Back to my motorcycle for a moment. I pushed it back home and into the garage and after two or three more times of taking the carburetors apart, I put new floats in the carburetors and now it runs great. I've ridden it all over the place and it's a much more enjoyable bike because it actually doesn't just start, but it gets me home. The goal is not just to begin. The goal is to get home and get home doing well.